Hello, I'm Elle and welcome back to my ethical fashion YouTube channel. If you're new here, I upload every Sunday. Welcome! Today we are getting into how us fashionistas can really support Palestinian solidarity. As you may or may not know, violence has been escalating in Gaza and it's really a crucial time to support Palestine. There's been a lot of civilians killed. The last time I saw the news reports, it was more than 35,000 had lost their life and then more than 2 million have been displaced. So yeah, Gaza is experiencing a severe humanitarian crisis. People are also dying from hunger and from health issues. And despite this, Israel continues to block and maintain its violent siege. And I think as us fashionistas, we can really use our creative and beautiful outlook in life to support Palestinians and to fight for their lives to be valued equally. And so in this video, I'll explore concrete ways us fashionistas can take on activist advocacy efforts and creative events and endeavors that will allow us to move forward in support of Palestine solidarity. So if you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe and turn on your post notifications. Again, I upload every Sunday and I would love to have you in my little community. Let's get into the video now. So I'm sure you love fashion, you clicked on this video because of that, but are left wondering what are meaningful things I can do given the time and place that you're in. So one of the first things I would recommend is hosting a clothing swap. All the ones I've done in the past are free, but I think given the times that we're in, you should charge a minimum fee to raise money for Palestine. So you could either charge five to fifteen dollars depending on the area you're living in because I live in a low income area and it would only make sense to charge five dollars. But if you're in a more wealthy privileged area or if you want to like go to pr more privileged areas that are willing to like pay more you should charge a little bit more so kind of scope out where you're at see what makes sense you can compare your prices to other places or if you have a particular goal you want to reach you can tailor it based on that and then just invite your friends and family and get the word out get as many people as you know to get there and then the second tip is to use your platform so there's a lot of amazing accounts that are doing very educational content i'll put all of my resources in my youtube description and feel free to follow and feel free to reshare because the more people that are talking about this the more that we spread the word will allow us to move forward in fighting for the cause and setting the pressure to change what's happening and my third tip is to join networks. As a small creator, I've been following what has been happening with Creators for Palestine. They recently were able to raise more than 1.5 million dollars, which is crazy to think about and it's amazing work. Google, if there's any local Palestine solidarity groups that you can probably join. So because I'm based in Chicago, I heard of the Lionek for Palestine, I believe that's what they're called, and they're working on a zine slash Biggle novel and I am definitely going to sign up. But yeah, see what's in your area, see where you can support. Give some volunteer hours. I feel like if you want things to change, you really need to put the time and effort into seeing it become true. And going back to the clothing theme, you can always do a clothing resale. So I always have a bunch of clothing I don't wear. I am a perpetual shopper, which is a problem I'm trying to fix it, but I always have clothing. So I'm definitely going to try to resell it and give that money to good organizations that need the support. And if you don't know any good organization or don't know which place to donate, I'll also have that in my description. And another idea is something that I call challenging complicity. So there's there's been a lot of companies that are supporting the Israel occupation and one of the best known ones has been Starbucks. So I would highly recommend you boycotting key companies that are supporting Israel. Starbucks has suffered a lot. Its stock has massively gone down based on months and months of boycott from normal civilians. So boycotting does work. So now let's get into more of the creative initiatives. One of the fun things that I've been seeing from fashion creators is upcycling their fashion. So I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I'll put an Instagram picture of his beautiful clothing that he made in solidarity for Palestine. And he customized the clothing all himself. He used like Palestinian motifs. He used like the colors and he's just raising awareness through his own creativity. So I would definitely look at something that you no longer need in your closet or just feel like can be vamped up a little bit more and give it a go. See what you can come up with. I feel like Pinterest is such a good place for inspiration. And my second creative tip is to do collaborative collections. So if you're a fashion designer, I would highly recommend partnering with Palestinian designers to create some sort of fashion line that highlights their traditional embroidery and patterns. They have such rich fashion 
in and it's so beautiful and so just concise and exquisite it does not compare to fast fashion trends so if you haven't explored what Palestinian fashion is I highly recommend you google it highly recommend you reach out to designers from there and see who is willing to create something with you and then my third idea is hosting a fashion show so you can do a local one in your local community where you can showcase either upcycled clothing that has Palestinian motifs or you can showcase Palestinian brands or local designers or you can showcase a collection that you did in collaboration with a Palestinian designer or with Palestinian advocates or activists or just civilians to really showcase the beauty and art that comes through fashion and culture and at the end you can also create a panel discussion where you can delve into their work you can delve into their personal experiences if they're comfortable doing that and touch on the struggle of what's happening in Palestine and also remember you can charge entry fees for fashion shows and for panel discussions so definitely think about doing that to raise funds and then my last creative initiative that you can take on is hosting educational workshops so this can either be online or offline depending on your comfortability and time boundaries but feel free to see what workshops you could do that can basically highlight traditional palestinian textiles highlight techniques like their tetris embroidery try to explore what workshops would make sense but also be very considerate of how you're appreciating their culture versus appropriating it because that can be very easy to do if we're not familiar with the country and the culture. And so now let's get into support and advocacy. One of the easiest things that we can do if we don't have time to host events or upcycle clothing or do fashion shows is to support Palestinian fashion brands. So you can definitely look at the resources again in my description for a whole list of Palestinian brands that are ethical and sustainable that you can invest your money into and you should definitely show your outfit on Instagram on your posts and share why you decided to support these brands. It's really important that you bring again that educational perspective to your money purchases. And so my third tip on how to show support is to write about what's happening in fashion blogs and magazines. I have my own blog. It's called Sustainable Mode. I upload every week on there on Thursday. So if you have your own blog, definitely write about the intersection of Palestine and fashion. You can showcase fashion designers on your post. You can always reach out to other magazines and see if they're receiving any op-eds or if you can write about the topic, if they haven't covered it, get creative, reach out and see how you can write about it. And then my last tip for this section is to come up with collaborative art projects. There is a lot of amazing energy and beauty and community to be found when we do things in a very collaborative way especially when there's some art element to it so i would definitely brainstorm ways you can combine fashion and activism to tell stories of palestine resilience and there's nothing wrong in doing that i feel like the more we do these sort of events the more we can push people to take more action and so that leads me into the last section which is taking political action i would highly encourage you to contact congress call them email your representative to demand an immediate at ceasefire. Most Americans support a ceasefire, but only a few congressmen have been called to do so. This leads me into my second tip, which is to write letters. I kind of mentioned it beforehand, but it's really powerful when we write op-eds and we submit them to major newspapers. Everything counts. And my last tip is to join a, an encampment. If you've been following the news, there's been a lot of students around the country, around the world, that have been setting up encampments in their local university to demand that their school stop investing their money in Israel. These efforts really are making a difference. It's bringing awareness, it's bringing pressure, and it's forcing universities to divest, put up your own tent where it's relevant. There's been a bit of work on tracking down which colleges are still doing encampments. It's something that's kind of a little bit hard to keep track on a daily basis. So I'll also have a list of universities that have encampments. So yeah, this was a bit more of a serious video. I definitely have been thinking what we fashionistas can do, how it's relevant to show up and what's appropriate. But I think we can always find creative ways to combine both fashion and activism and tailor it to the current times that we're in. So feel free to share in the comments what ideas resonated the most with you, how are you going to tailor them to your local community and your own skills, and let me know any other ideas that you think can make a difference for Palestine with our own unique ones of passion and activism. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. I upload every Sunday and would love for you to join my community. Peace and love. Oh.